The Town of Isle Planning Board recently held a public hearing regarding the proposed development of the historic LaGrange Inn property along Montauk Highway and Higby Lane in West Islip. The LaGrange Inn is one of the oldest buildings in town dating back to the 1750s. Until recently, the historic inn was used as a restaurant and catering hall. Citing a decline in business, the owners closed it down, and for the past two years, the site has been fenced off, the building allowed to decay, awaiting a decision on its fate. At the meeting, representatives presented the plans to build a CVS pharmacy and move the historic building to a different section of the property. Local residents came out in force to voice their opinions. The main concerns are uh, the traffic, you know, uh, in a very congested area. Uh, the other is the light and the noise pollution for the neighbors in the area. That's also a great concern. And the other is, of course, the, the building itself, you know, that the building will be, you know, essentially, you know, what we're hearing now is that it might not be able to survive the move and they'll have to recreate that building, which is really not what the residents are interested in hearing and seeing. The public is getting very annoyed at the, at the way the, uh, the building is being treated. And they're very upset and they're, uh, you know, losing patience. LaGrange has always been a landmark. It's been there for so many years, and I think the community really feels very strongly about it being pushed off to the northeast corner. This goes back to revolutionary days. I don't understand why this cannot be taken so seriously and, and developed to be preserved as well as the Sacticos Manor has. But we just don't see the very much regard or respect is being given to the historical value of that property. And in West Islip, it probably is the most important historical piece of property. I mean, you've all seen this sign out in front of the property on Montauk Highway, it was erected by the town of Islip. This, we don't see any regard being paid to that at all, and that's really one of the more important factors with us. The owners of the LaGrange property, I believe, have deliberately allowed it to rot. It's about to fall down. Uh, as part of the plan to get the people of West Isa to say, well, it's, uh, it's better than nothing. Whoever owns this property right now, he should be fined for not cleaning it up, for putting a fence up, for tearing the place down to pieces. He should be fined by the thousands of dollars. Traffic will be just absolutely horrible. And for people, with, you know, to use the drive-through for prescriptions, it will resemble gas lines, and they're going to be, and they'll be lined up on Higby Lane to come in and and to go down and, and, and wait in line for the for their prescriptions. Traffic is going to be the, the biggest issue in this whole thing. It absolutely pains me to see a CBS go where Lagrange is, but I do accept the fact that in our economy, there is nobody else who is looking to purchase this building except for a bank or a drugstore. I think that the board has to be very, very conservative as to what they allow, and I think a drive-through window, you're opening a Pandora's box to a lot of problems. We, you all know the traffic on Montauk Highway. We know something's got to be done, it's a mess. But this is ridiculous with the drive right behind my house. You might as well take my house, put it right in the middle of Higby Lane and Montauk Highway on the island, because what's going to happen, all that traffic that's coming south, is now everybody's going to decide to turn on Wilhelm Lane. They're going to, that's going to be like a parkway on Wilhelm Lane. After the residents spoke, the development representatives tried to address some of their concerns and said that they would be open to meeting with the residents to try and resolve some of the issues. I, I hope the residents don't view this as a battle because we don't. Uh, we see an opportunity here to maybe deliver something to the community that they have been looking for. It may not be exactly what the community is looking for. I did hear things, uh, and I know the board heard things, that you know people would like to see everything that's there remain. They want to see it at a restaurant. They'd like to see it at a catering hall. I just don't think that's going to happen. To be consistent with the way the, the planning board, the town board, has treated historic properties in the past, um, usually there have been creative solutions to um, uh, allowing the redevelopment of those properties, but at the same time preserving those structures. So from a comprehensive planning standpoint, um, I think the application d uh, does provide an opportunity for um, a hybrid application here where, where some level of economic development, frankly putting the, 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 uh, the parcel back to productive tax roll, um, again, uh, along with preserving the, the existing structure is, is an opportunity here. 
The planning board chose to reserve the issue for a later date, but encouraged residents and the developer to talk about their issues. Chris Clore reporting, Long Island Online News.